Why is data security so important in your MLM software? Hi, I'm Robert Proctor. For the last 20 years, I've been involved in the network marketing industry, uh, helping launch over 1,000 companies. And today, only 10% of those companies are still in business. I want to give you some tips and tools, hopefully some value to find out why those 10% of those companies are still in business. And unfortunately, what caused those other 90% of the companies to fail? You know, a couple years ago, you may have seen that Target got hacked with over 150 million credit cards stolen. Just in the last couple of weeks, uh, Equifax got hacked and they're saying over 150 to 200 million pieces of data of your personal information, credit cards, passwords, usernames, all that information was stolen and is out there on the internet. So when you're looking at MLM software, there's some things that you need to look at that are absolutely critical. First thing, is there an SSL security certificate on your website? If you go to a website and it says HTTP and you're putting in a credit card or you're putting in a username, password, tax ID, and it doesn't say HTTPS, that website, that page is not encrypted. You must be on a website page that says HTTPS or you've got a good potential of somebody sniffing through your browser and getting your credit card data. You wanna ask your software company, are they PCI qualified? Are they PCI certified? This is payment card industry standard standards. It's something called uh, PCI, PCI uh, standard standards, and it means that the software, the servers, the websites are being scanned usually once a month to make sure that any new known vulnerabilities in the internet, because people out there, they're trying to get to your data. And it happens all the time. So there's systems and securities in place that will actually scan your website. So make sure that you ask your software provider, are they PCI compliant? Do they have the ability to do IP blocking? Let's face it, there's some countries these days that they're known for criminal activities. They're known for hacking. And you wanna make sure that your software provider, your hardware provider, your cloud provider, that they've got the ability to block certain countries, that they've got the ability to block certain IPs from accessing your website and possibly getting to vulnerable data, such as credit card data, uh, usernames and passwords. I'm gonna address that in just a minute. Denial of service. You wanna make sure that the software company that you're working with, that their provider or their hardware has denial of service software set up on it. It means that when an attack happens, not if, but when an attack on your website happens, that there's a denial of service program in place that's gonna stop that hack as quickly as possible. So that's a question to ask your software provider or your cloudware provi cloud provider, do they have denial of service software in place? Credit card data, is it encrypted? This is an important question to ask your software provider and then follow up with your hardware provider that the data stored in your database is encrypted. Credit card data has to be encrypted. It cannot be stored in clear text. You wanna make sure that the three-digit code or the four-digit code on an American Express card or three-digit code on other credit cards, that that data is not being stored. So make sure to ask your software provider that the database is not storing that information. Um, your credit card should actually be encrypted at what's called a SHA-2, and I know this is a technical term. It's called a SHA-2 encryption. It's NSA or National Security Administration standards on how credit card data should be stored in a database. So make sure that your software company is storing your data at a SHA-2 NSA level encryption. Are passwords encrypted? Uh, passwords should actually be encrypted using what we call an MD5 hash encryption method. It means that when somebody goes to your website and they type in their password, the software should actually be encrypting that password and comparing it with the password that's stored in the database, that that password's encrypted, and if the two match up, it allows you to access the website. If the two don't match up, it denies you from logging into the website. So you wanna make sure that your software provider and your database administrator has passwords stored at an MD5 hash encrypted level. Your data back backups, this is absolutely critical. It's not a matter of if somebody's gonna eventually try to hack your website, or if your provider's gonna get hacked, or if there's malware out there, because we can't control what's gonna happen tomorrow, we can control what's gonna happen today. So make sure that your data is being backed up. It means that your database where your distributor's data, your customer's data, your products, your commission history, everything about your business should be backed up at least on a daily basis. Preferably if you're doing a lot of business, it should be backed up in real time or hourly, but at least backed up on a daily basis and you really should have data that's stored offline. You know, a lot of what I just said probably went over your head because 20 years ago before I got involved in this industry, everything I just told you went over my head completely. It's what we call geek speak. 
Today, I'm fortunate I'm surrounded with brighter, smarter, more intelligent people that manage this for my company, but I do know the questions that you need to be asking your software provider. Uh, these are really important technical questions because it's not a matter of if it's going to happen, it's a matter of when it's going to happen. You know, I've been involved in this industry for 20 years and I've had a lot of clients transition over to us because something like this did happen to them and I've seen the pains that they've gone through and I've seen them have to start over from scratch because they lost their, their merchant account because they got hacked, they lost all their distributors' data, they lost their commission history, they lost their website. And I want to help you avoid those pains that you could potentially go through, but just asking a few smart questions. Again, let them do the heavy lifting for you, but know the questions that you need to be armed with when you're talking to a provider. If you got some value from this, share this, like this, and hey, have a great day.